All right, so what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and create a brand new template in WebCenter Sites uh, using HTML uh, and other front-end artifacts that we've gotten from our uh, digital agency. Um, we're going to do that from scratch. So first I'll log into WebCenter Sites. And um, here we can see my website, Abbey Sports. Uh, and as you know, it's very easy to create new pages, new sections within the website. I basically just say um, new page. Um, and here I can select a layout of the page. And um, maybe I'll create a squash section. Okay. And I can start dragging and dropping assets. Now what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and create a completely new layout for the site, maybe for a landing page or a microsite or anything like that, that doesn't look anything like the current pages. So um, I've been to the internet and I found a free HTML template. Um, in this case, I found a nice uh, one-page template. Um, so here we go. It's a single-page website. All the CSS is in the HTML file that loads images externally, and it is quite um, beautiful. So we're going to take that and we're going to make it into a template in WebCenter Sites. So to do that, we'll start our IDE. So in my case here, I use Eclipse. Uh, we've integrated WebCenter Sites plugin, so I can see my sites, Abby Tech and Abby Sports. So I'm going to create a new template for Abby Sports. So I'm going to call this uh, template Cam pain template. Um, it can be used for pages. Um, it is used as a layout and I will say that it's uncached. And that's it. We'll save it and the system has now created a new template with some uh, stub code that I'll just leave as is. Now I'll take the HTML that we've received from the agency, on my case that I've downloaded from the internet, and paste it in here as is. Okay, so I haven't made any changes at all. Here is the HTML. We'll copy it, paste it in, and we will save it. And it's now saved into the WebCenter Sites repository, which means that if I now say new section page, I can now see my campaign template. I haven't uploaded a thumbnail, um, but here it is. So I'll create a new page. I'll call it uh, promo. Okay, and here we are. So a new page has been created uh, with this template. In this case, it's got pretty static uh, content, obviously. What I'll do is I'll drag this promo page into my navigation or my sitemap. Okay, so now if I go back, click on home, we can now see that the promo page is here. Okay, um, now what I'll do is I'll make um, this template actually work. So we'll add some logic into it here, okay, so that we can actually um, start editing it. So the first thing I'll do is I'll replace this static um, title text with the title from the actual page itself. Okay, so to do that, I will go into my template in my IDE and I'll find that piece of static text. Um, here we go. Okay. So this is what I want to replace. Now there's only two small things I have to do before I can do this. Okay. One thing is I've got to include this new tag library. Okay. This means that I want to do inside editing, we see we get editing. Okay. So I'll just include that up here, doesn't matter where. And there it is. So that's all good. Second thing we want to do is we want to put in these three lines. So basically what this does is it loads the page and makes all the attribute, all the values and all the data available for our template. Okay, so we'll just put that at the top here. Okay, again, doesn't really matter where we put it, but we'll sort of put it towards the top. Now we are ready to actually uh, print out the attributes of the page. So the first thing we wanted to change was the title. Okay, here we go. So we want to change this. So all we need to do is this. Okay asset.title. So this kind of dot notation, JSTL, if you're familiar with JSP or even .NET, JavaScript, PHP, this sort of stuff will come very easy to you and it'll take you no time to learn. So I've now replaced the static text with the title of the page. Okay, that's all that's needed. We'll save it off. And so if we go back to the page, click editing. Okay, we can now change the title. So we've got to be in form mode. We haven't enabled WCVG editing yet. 
I'll show you that in a second. So we can now change the title, we'll say this, or oh, sorry, amazing new product launch. Okay, save, go back into WYSIWYG mode, and we'll see that the new title is there. Now we'll do the same for the subtitle. In this case, we'll use the body of the page, and we'll replace the static text here with the body of the page, and we'll make it so that you can actually WYSIWYG edit stuff. So in other words, we'll make it so that you can actually edit from within this uh, screen here without having to go into the form mode. So again, we'll find this bit in the in the template. So here it is. This is a static bit that we want to have changed. Now all we need to do, we could say, we could re really copy paste this and say asset.body, right? But if we wanted to do inside editing, what we'll do instead is we'll use this nifty little tag here, inside edit. Okay, so it means we want to do WYSIWYG editing on the body field. So we will replace the static text with this new tag, okay? And that's pretty much it. We'll save it. And if I hit refresh, we'll now see that we've got this little fella here and we can now do inside editing. Okay, that's it. Okay, inside editing done. Now the last thing we might want to do is let's replace this static image here and make it a drag and drop area where the business users can replace it with their own media. Okay, So we'll go back into the template, we'll find the image, so in this case here it is, static image tag, so we'll replace that with a dynamic call. So what we'll do here, two lines or two tags, get the banner image and call the template to be able to drag and drop new banner images onto this. Okay, Again, don't have to think too much about it, just copy and paste the code in, save it off, and we're done. Okay, so what we'll find is that there's now a, an area here where you can drop in new images. So in my case, if I search for mobile, here we go. Happen to have a previous image, and Bob's your uncle. Okay, we save it off, done. Okay, new page is done. If you want to see how it looks for end users, preview a new window, and there we go. Complete new template in only a couple of minutes with complete WYSIWYG editing and everything done.